Welcome back to SPL Week 7. Finch here joined by Agro. Now it's time to move on to Knights versus Obey and see if Obey can maybe keep their momentum rolling here a little bit off their very first win here of the season so far. Agro, what are you expecting in this matchup? Uh, I'm expecting zero Nike picks being allowed by, by <laughs> Pittsburgh Knights. That's what I'm expecting because Sino looked really, really good on those picks. I don't, I don't know what to expect, to be honest with you. I mean, PK is such a hot and cold team. You never know exactly what yep. you're going to get from them. I can see PK winning this set in 45 minutes total. I can see them losing this set 2-0. Like, it's really, really hard to predict any night set, let alone against a team that we've only seen in one set, which is this new look <laughs> Obey with Sino in the jungle. So it's going to be some aggression here in game one. Let's get it down to Dolphin Mifflin to carry the cast. The early laning phase here hasn't been without a little bit of poke. Inbound will leap through. Both junglers hanging by this long lane. Burp from Neo will stun one down. Sino has made his way to the long lane, and that's first blood. And a double kill for the Vamana on the rotation to the long lane. Cubo Fred, half HP beneath the tier one tower, but that'll keep him alive just for the moment. Things were slow, but suddenly they explode as Sino finds the gank and a double kill. That was mainly just duo lane pressure from Obey, but look Whoa. at Cubo. Cubo go back in. Wowie will get the kill. Cubo will, though, as well. Risky plays there. Cubo Fred snags one for himself. Ducky under the eye of Paul here, who will crushing wave through. And down goes Ducky. We've seen nothing for the first 11 minutes of this game. And suddenly, five kills on the board all over the map. Well, I think you have your answer right here. Do the Knights look scared to you as they pull the Gold Fury? Yes. Yeah. Sino has Atalanta's bow online, but that's just attack speed. His damage output's going to be relatively low, and he's going to be incredibly squishy. So what is to do? PK? Force a fight. Well, the fight is starting out inbound, locked down, but will leap away. Could be executed. Sino finds the kill. Execute misses from Scary D. The Vamana's on a killing spree here, but Cubo Fred has found the back line. And inbound will finally be cleaned up. That's a good stun from Scary D, and he'll finish off the kill. Onto the Obey Hunter, but Wolfie will trade one back. Scary D looking a little healthier here, and Paul will finish off the kill. It's a three for three in a bit of a split fight there, Midland. But PK forced the fight, take a slight lead out of it. Now the gold gap closing up just a little bit, but Sino sure Ooh. catches out Scary in the jungle. My goodness, Sino hurts, doesn't he? He starts off this fight, but Ducky is here maybe to finish it. Scary D, no health, no mana. There's a stun from Neil, but it won't matter much here as Sino will pull off of that blue buff. Seven kills on the board, four of them in the back pocket of Sino, one assist as well. This guy just continues to elevate this Obey team. Yeah, if he hits a five man, that would be absolutely devastating. But even despite yeah, being happens. 2 0, Wolfie, <laughs> equal levels, and Obey gonna be the aggressors on this gold green. Neil Ma is the first one on the scene. And Neil Ma is the first one out of the scene. Watch out for Ducky on the rotation from the solo lane. Double knock up thanks to the World Serpent. Sino chopping away, and Zapman will be able to escape. The Aegis used saves the life of the Pittsburgh Knights Hunter. Wowie moving back in on Cubo Fred, but it's five members strong for Obey Alliance. Paul has to Aegis himself to get himself out alive, but Sino's on the scene and drops him down. Scary D will turn around one over onto Ducky, and the Achilles is in full retreat mode. Two for one, Obey continues to expand upon this lead. Now 4.2k after it was two and some change just a moment ago. Instead, Obey are going to look towards this tier one tower, half HP. Zapman drops the ultimate. Neil moves in and tries to stun a few, but is unable to do so. Wolfie dove on by Cubo Fred, but some shielding is enough to keep the mid laner alive. Execute, maybe searching there, but it's Paul who will finish him off anyway. World Serpent from Ducky will soar on through. Too much damage from Wowie, though, will melt through Paul, and Sino will capitalize on that kill. Two kills for each team, but it's the Knights on the retreat. Yeah, they take the fight in the early, but they didn't know that Sinosure was lurking in the jungle. And now, how are you going to appeal for him? You got no shell. He's going to be diving your backline for free. Zapman falls. Neil's going to have to back up himself. And now this is a free tier one tower, potentially a tier two. Gold three is respawned as well. Obey's on a power play. You have the gods to do it. Scary D is going to be able to execute him if he falls low. Paul's going to be the one dropping him low. But you have to ma match his damage output. And I'm not sure that PK can. Well, with a 7k gold lead, Obey will feel confident in starting up the Fire Giant. They do move back. Scary D will find the stun on the inbound and the execute to boot. A little bit too far forward, maybe, for the Obey Alliance support. Sino on retreat. 
Colossal Fury used. Won't be here for the rest of this team fight. Darkest of Knights from Wowie will shield the eyes of the Knights just a little bit, but Aegis and the dash no good. Scary D with his second kill in this fight. Three members of Obey left on the retreat. Half health on effectively every member of the Pittsburgh Knights, but I think job done here for the Knights. We stopped the Fire Giant and got a couple of kills. And this started up. Wowie still 10 seconds away, plus travel time over to the FG. Wolfie, Ducky, inbound, closest by, but the Knights are gonna leave the FG. It's just Paul in the back line, who has to ult away from the Fire Giant. Wowie, take, or Wolfie rather, taken down by Cubo Fred. It's Ducky and inbound, though, who are gonna continue to move in onto Cubo, who has half HP and will move away. Neil finds a stun over onto Sino, but suddenly it's a five versus four engagement if the Knights maybe want to turn this around, but Sino will take to the Colossal Fury and try to find some damage, but that's an execute from Scary D. It's a 6-1-3 jungler, but it's a 6-1-5 solo laner for the Knights, and Scary D is keeping the Knights in this game. Out of the fight, the Pittsburgh Knights have started it up, and we have seen this story before where they may just peel off the moment anyone from Obey starts to move forward. Could be a different buck though this time. Fire Giant taken very low, Ducky inbound, both within range. Could we see another steal from a Jormungand, or maybe off to the side, World Serpent through. Down onto Paul, three members of Obey on one side, and Ducky will execute the Pittsburgh Knights mid laner. Fire Giant still half HP, but nobody's looking at it. Obey instead, they're looking to fight as inbound will leap in. Zapman staggered through. He'll have to jump away. Five members strong for Obey, and the FG is next on the tape. I mean, they've got plenty of time to work with. Now, one more minute on their Fire Giant buff. Right side, Phoenix is already down and pushed up towards that Phoenix line. It's fire minions. Paul's been split up as well. Now, Obey's in. Here we go, Mifwin. It's Neoma in onto the front line. Wow, he has been dunked on. Has to burn the actives, but Cubo Fred will put him down. Ducky World Serpents his way through. Titan under attack, but it's only the Fire Minions. Cubo Fred is going to get burnt down by Ducky this time. Sino, he's on the Titan with the Fire Minions. The rest of the fight might not matter. Paul, he's got himself a double kill, but Sino, Mifwin, he's got the damage. Obey Alliance, they complete the turnaround. And game number one is theirs. Let's go ahead and get into game two. No way Obey find a 2-0 sweep here, do they? For Obey, and even small moments like that. You throw up the silence, and it turns around a potential purple buff invade. invade. Sino has to use the Colossal Fury here over back towards uh, the Obey Alliance purple buff. Darmic Pillars as the rotation from inbound is here. Neo locked down, and Sino, hey, one more time. Give first blood. Over to the jungler for Obey Alliance, right back on the Vimana, right back on the board. But it's Cubo Fred. He's now blinked through. Re-engage. It's the dash right back out, though. Obey Alliance. He'll get out alive with the kill and take down their own buff. They've done more than enough. But let's maybe that thought Smithlin, of Sino gets Maybe an right. airstrike for Zapman will help clean up some of the onslaught that Sino brought. Darmic Pillars down by inbound. Wowie finds the kill over on Neoma. Paul has eviscerated the health bars of a couple members of Obey. Blink away from Sino. A double kill though from Wowie. Paul, he's on the chase this time. Doesn't want to let the hunter get away. Cubo Fred has found some low health targets here. The dash is through. Paul with a couple. Wowie with a couple. And it's a two for two fight. Right now, Wowie's been having a fantastic set himself and he's got a two one lead. Whoa, Paul, Wolfie, that's not where you want to be. Right back beneath the Pittsburgh Knights. Tier 1 tower, crushing wave, rolls through, essentially executes the Raijin in the mid lane in this Raijin. Slow him down. Even if he's not getting first blood every single game, he's finding some kills. There might be one here for Ducky. Scary D trying to sustain Cubo Fred in on the rotation. That's enough to keep the solo laner alive. Cubo Fred wants a little bit more, though. Blinks through, stuns down. Scary D drops the bats, but Cubo Fred will leap forward. He's got the tower aggro, but he stays alive. The gang successful for the time being. Can Sino pull some back? He pulls back one. The return shot hits the double counter gank from Sino. This man cannot be stopped. They want the win. They won last week. Obey want to win again this week. It's going to be tough, though, when the Knights are going to lock down that Gold Fury. Darmic Pillars just off the mark. Paul will roll through. And that's the fourth kill of the game for the mid laner of the Knights. Wowie, a touch too far forward. Cubo Fred on the chase. The leap is there off the ultimate. Goes Obey Alliance's Hunter. Aegis not going to be enough. That's a double 
A delayed double maybe for Paul in the mid lane. Cubo Fred saves the life of Nioma here. And Wolfie is rotated on through. Tycho Drums will pour out some damage, but it won't be enough to save his life. Cubo Fred has a couple kills in this one as well. Scary D, he's on the chase beneath the tier one tower. Knock up, knock down. Scary D will lock down the fifth and final kill of this engagement. Wasn't a full D aside because inbound is back on the respawn, but that's a clean sweep. Really struggling, gets picked out on the gold free before that fight even happens. He gets picked out on team fights as well. Scary D gonna have to use his ultimate uh -oh. here, but the rest of Obey already ready. Yeah, no more charges on that bat out of hell. Wolfie is here to play. Can you trade out a kill onto Sino? You're at least gonna get the Colossal Fury started up. Scary D though, oh, Neil is here for the play. Will ult down onto his solo laner and saves his life. What a play from Neil. Frustration. Absolutely there for Obey. They think they found a free pick on a scary D, but Neil is there to save the day. Oh no, this is a five-man chase. They either, okay, I was going to say, they either thought scary left or they were going for Fire Giant all along. You started it up, Obey. You've reaped it, but what are you going to sow here? It's Paul rotating through, finds a big knockup. Sino, very low health. Colossal Fury will help top some of that up. A shell. Help save some health bars for Obey Alliance. Zapman airstrikes through. It's a double kill for the Vamana. And he's found Zapman low health in the back line. Obey are only down one member. Pittsburgh Knights are down two. Zapman Ooh. will get rid of Sino, though. This time, Scary D locked down by inbound. And Wowie will finish off that kill. It's a three for two. Obey Alliance just a bit ahead. But could Zapman get away? I'm not so sure. The stun is in. And Ducky will finish him off. A full four sweep. Only Paul escapes alive. But it's going to be a lot harder to deal with it now that you're 6,000 gold in behind and the entirety of PK have aggressive positioning and wards. Inbound a little bit too far forward here. Locked down. Darmic Pillars will not disengage the fight away from him. Scary D, bat out of hell, was there just to swoop a little extra damage and maybe re-engage the fight if the Knights wanted it instead. Eyes turns back towards this FG. Four ultimates still ready to go for Obey. It's Sino deep in the back line, rounding about. I'm not sure the Knights realize he's there. Don't have wards on this side of the Fire Giant pit. The fight breaks out. Sino, he's found a free route onto Paul. Paul catches the revive, and it will be used. So back to Neil. He goes. Paul, though, shrugs it off, turns it around for the kill, but it's two now for Obey Alliance as the fight rages on. Wow, he drops the banner, banner right onto Zapman's head. Two members of the Knights left retreating. Three members of Obey left alive. Nobody risky enough to attend or attempt the FG. Fire Giant started for the Knights, taken low. A couple members of Obey awaiting in the wings. That man might just be able to finish it off on his own. Neil is here, though, to help. It's only Ducky who's off to the side. The Knights, they'll lock this one down, and Paul will find the kill onto Ducky as well. In the mid lane, Cubo, Fred, and Sino doing battle. Colossal Fury might time out here in just a second. Cubo will not re engage after that. So Sino still feeling confident. But the fight rages on. Right side tier two tower has been dove and foregone. Scary D and Zapman, they'll combine for a couple of kills. And underneath the right side, Phoenix goes zap. What a courageous play there. Has to burn the Aegis and the shell used by Neil just to keep him alive. But now Cubo is re-engaged over on Sino. Up, down, he goes. Just needs a little bit more damage. I'm not sure the mobility is there. And Sino will escape alive. Ducky and inbound here underneath the long lane. Phoenix, Scary D moves himself forward. Paul catches the Darmic Pillars. Wolfie into the Tycho Drums. Ducky, Sino, they found Paul, but nobody else from Obey Alliance is here. Paul might have to use the ultimate to crash through. He does. There's a Kepri ultimate on the mid laner, so he'll stay alive. Sino is able to survive thanks to the Colossal Fury as well, but Cubo Fred finds the last ticket damage. Two members of Obey Alliance down, five strong for the Knights. There's a TP in from Scary D as well. Hey, remember for Obey, all it took was a Fire Minions and Sino last game. There's Fire Minions on the Titan. We're about to be some more in the long lane as well. Zapman and Wowie doing battle with Nilma. Full on retreat. The rotation over from the Knights. That's one blink in. You can't even see who it is. The crits ringing through from Zapman. They'll connect over on the inbound. Scary D leaps through. He'll connect over on to Wowie. It's Wolfie against the world, Mifflin. And I got a feeling we're headed to game three. It's got to be the case. The healthy targets on PK are going to be so hard to deal with. The Titan's already burning away 10% health. Wolfie didn't even get the chance to leave his fountain before his Titan fell. Clean play from PK. A little bit of indecision in the mid game might have slowed down that victory. But again, a one and one is the set. I don't know. It could go either way.
Yeah, and, and that is a decision by Obey to put inbound in the driver's seat because they let that Nike go with that first pick. But Obey with a chance to maybe find their second set winner. Will the Knights shut them down here in game three? But, but if you're loading in here against Sino, take us back. You know, you're playing against Sino. He's on his Thor. I mean, you already know, you know, you lose. But <laughs> if, you're playing, if you're playing Nike, what, what is your mindset maybe in this early game to try to counteract some of what, well, Sino maybe now is looking to do with a rotation through to the long lane. We'll nice find wall. the stun down on the Zapman. Does not have beads. The wall times out just in time, but inbound finds the knockback. Hey, you don't need an ult to gank, apparently, Mifflin, and Sano will rotate through and help inbound find first blood. Five or six K, all right. Let's see if Obey are able to move their way there. Sino, he's returned over to this long lane. Another Woo. good wall and another kill for inbound on the back of early pressure from Sino in the long lane. What was it, last game, game number one? I'm like, over by the red buff side. Cubo is going to start up this purple buff. Sino close by, though, taking... Somewhat low. Zapman has to use the B tier. Zapman now uses the ultimate as well. But you gotta go down to an enemy. Wowie is gonna be that answer. Wolfie tries to pull back in some damage, but the Knights are just a little bit healthier. Sino tries to put down one. He's able to get the kill onto Cubo Fred. A one for one trade. And now Scary D is stunned down. It looks like the Knights are the ones feeling a little bit more confident. Off in the Harpy Pit is Ducky. No world surf into Sabia this time. Pittsburgh Knights, they knock their second kill. And Obey only get one between Obey and the Knights. You can see Neo just kind of lurking by that long lane. Won't be much, but what you can maybe see instead is Paul suddenly engaged upon by Sino. Ducky inbound. He's here as well. Sino unable to take to the skies. The collapse is there from the Knights. And maybe a touch too deep for Obey on that engagement. Ducky is going to try to world serpent away, but Neoma finds himself immediately back in the front line. Wolfie stunned down, deleted by Cubo Fred, and enough damage is there for Paul to get the kill as well. A three for none, and the Knights, they're bearing down, and they're going to rotate over to this Pyro. No one's going to go in here? Yeah, 15 minute Fire Giant doesn't happen too often. We talked about math, we talked about English, how about history? Obey, take another engagement <laughs> knowing that they lost the last one instantly? That's pretty short-term memory. Maybe they stop the Fire Giant here, though. I'm not sure they're going to be able to. Now, Ducky on a 37-second cooldown. Perfect juggling. What hope do they have at maybe delaying here? Maybe you have to take this fight beneath your Tier 2 tower. I'm not sure they're going to be so keen to do so, though. Well, they do try and take it themselves. Bobby's able to burn the beads off the back line. And Sino will take to the skies. Where does he dug down? Wolfie has burned down so much damage. Sino, three-man stun in the back line of the Knights and will spin to win down one kill. Zapman full-on retreat. Wolfie flickers forward. Cubo Fred taken low. Zapman looks like he's going to be able to get out of this one alive. Somehow Sino makes the miracle play, stuns down a couple, gets a kill, and stays alive. Could have been a lot worse there, I think, for the Knights if Sino were any higher on the health bar. PK just overstay a little bit too long on that tier 2 tower. Fire Giant buff falls away. Wolfie drops so many people to about a quarter health with his abilities. From there, Sino cleans it up. Zatman, you've been given a second lease on life here, and you've used it to walk right back towards Obey, who will pull him back in. Wowie snags the kill. You gotta be kidding me, now it's Obey 20 minutes in, who are gonna turn their eyes towards the Fire Giant. Yeah, maybe uh, once they kill those guys, then yes, the tower is going to even out the gold just a little <laughs> bit. Maybe get a gold fear on the tail end of it or a fire giant. But that's history and fairy tale as Sinosure falls down to Paul. That's not how you're going to want to start the defense. Now four members stronger obey, five on the side of PK. They can either go for a phoenix or go straight to fire giant. Either way, the defense potential is not there. Watch out though. Cubo Fred and Scary D have a, a very potent... 1-2 combination once those ultimates start to connect. Cubo Fred will let it fly first. Scary D looking for the follow up there. Wowie has just been chipped away, but he's out of this fight. Sino, Anvil of Dawn, where will he choose to slam down? Misses the stun over onto Zatman who uses the beads, but you can't beads out damage. And he learns that the hard way. Sino evaporates Zatman's elf bar. Sino will have to retreat back to the fountain. Scary D is low, but looks like Obey won't overextend here as the right side Phoenix is taken down. Fire Giant taken down easily by the Knights this time. How about the fight after? Well, Sino will drop down onto Zapman, and again, the jungler will get rid of the Knights Hunter. Cubo Fred, Massive Shield, Wolfie slowed down. Scary D 
is disengaging from the fight, but that's a leap right back in. Sino, though, has found a double kill and airstrike defensively from Wowie. Scary D dashes his way back through. Wowie won't be able to crit himself out of this one. A triple kill for Sino. Keeps Obey Alliance in this game. Mifflin, the chase is on inbound, is going to rotate through a wall down onto Scary D. Dash to the side, away from the wall. That's a driving strike over on the Neomon. It'll be a triple kill where Sino will dust off the hands. Look at the relic usage on the side of the Knights, though. They don't have any available as the engagement starts. A good engagement there. Sino taken down first off. That's always going to be a winning strategy here for the Knights. Ducky World Serpents through the knockup, not there from inbound. Four versus five underneath this mid lane Phoenix. The actives are coming up. Frenzy is also available. And that minion wave on right being uncontested. That Phoenix is falling. Someone's going to have to rotate. Ow. And the second they do, PK are going to have their window in. Well, Ducky maybe realizes that the fight is more important than the right side. Phoenix down goes Wolfie. But Scary D does as well. Paul still in the fight. Thunder crashes away. Ducky doesn't have the World Serpent to stay alive. And Zapman will gun him down. It's Neo in the back line looking for the stun on the inbound, but the belly flop out will be successful. Right side Phoenix did end up getting taken down, but it was maybe a defense that Obey had to take in sacrifice of their Phoenix. What's going to happen to him? The wall's going to come through. It might happen again. Whoa. Sign already in the air. Where will he dunk down? He's looking for Paul, won't complete the stun. Instead, Scary D has found the gank around the back line. Sino goes down as well. That might have been the lifeline for Obey Alliance. A double kill for Zetman. Who needs a good slash line when you're going to clean up the fights at the end of the game? Wowie, I think he's the last line of defense here. Ducky, he's going to be alone on the defense. Mifflin, it looks like the Knights have finally just cleaned up the game. Man. I guess I should have referred to my Zapman win checklist earlier on. Get camped in the early game, check. Yep. Fall Works. behind in levels, check. Get your yep. team ahead in gold somehow, check. Turn it around in the mid to late, check. End the game with a negative slash line, check. <laughs> yep, everything's coming up, Zapman. And now the Titans should fall relatively uncontested. Ducky can't even get there. Scary's just chasing him around. Yeah, it's going to be the game here. Mifflin underneath the left side. Phoenix is Ducky. He'll take a kill with him. It's finally... The Dia side here for the Knights Obey fight valiantly, but a little cleaner, a little better there around the end from the Knights, and, and you worded it. You said that Obey need to get this early game lead. They need to bring that into the mid game, and it just didn't happen.